All right, so I don't know how well y'all can hear me uh, because I have this camcorder is pretty far away. Um, so <laughs> my uh, my doggone Star Seeker Four um, messed up on me, and it wasn't the motor itself was not turning the Star Seeker Four or my telescope. So I took it apart, as you can see. Hopefully, you can see here. This here is the the inside of the uh, the Star Seeker Four. Uh, there's about uh, looks like there's about four screws that are on the uh, underside of the uh, go of the uh, the mount itself, or the uh, the, the the mount, I guess you could say, uh, base or whatever the arm. The arm is what you want to call it. Okay, so. There is a there's a black cog, a big black cog, up here at the top, and I'll do my best to show you a picture and a video uh, and stuff of what what basically happened for me. Um, so there's a little um, metal piece underneath this big cog. At least it was for me. This may not be your problem, but this was my problem, um, and I'll show you a close up of that. Uh, shortly too, um, but unfortunately, it appears to be that it got loose somehow. I think there's a little, uh, like a little Allen, a small, really small Allen um, lock or bolt inside there that got loose somehow, and it's made my arm so it didn't move around. So as you can see here, it's rotating now. Hopefully, you guys can see the arm is moving a little bit there. Hopefully you guys can see that. I don't know if you can or not. Um, but uh, I got it moving now, finally. And I'm going to show you... I'm going to show you... I'm going to show you what it was. Sorry, I had, to, I had the motor was overpowering my voice, I think. Uh, but I'm going to show you what it was. So I'm going to get up off my chair and try to bring... Um, the camcorder a little bit closer uh, to the uh, the mount itself. So here, I come over here real quick. Um, there's going to be a little bit of movement here, so bear with me here as I do this. Um, so I'm actually here by the uh, the the camcorder now, so you guys can hear me pretty loud. I apologize if the audio was was bad and you couldn't hear me, but uh, I was recording it from pretty far away, about four feet away. Anyways, so underneath there, I'm going to see if I can zoom in. I don't know if this will work for me or not. I'm actually going to tilt the uh, the camera up here a little bit so I can see what we're zooming into. Okay, so hopefully you see that hole right there. There's a hole right about there where my screwdriver is. There's a, there's a hole right there. And inside that hole was a loose, it's some type of loose thing. This thing is loose for me. And I think the, the little bolt that's inside there, a little screw that's a, like a Phillips, not a Phillips, but a, but a hex screw, Allen wrench screw or something like that, it basically got loose. And I think maybe I can demonstrate what happened here uh, for you guys. I'm going to push this screw a little bit so that it's loose, and you'll, you'll see the, the arm will not turn at all um, when the screw is loose. At least this was my problem. This was my problem. It may not fix your problem, but... I'm going to see if I can turn this screw to get it loose. Hopefully I don't hit the web, the camcorder here. Okay, so as you can see that hole moved and it's some type of metal ring or something like that. Um, now it's loose now, I don't think my arm is tight. It has to be tight so the arm moves. Now I think when I go ahead and zoom out here, um, if you watch the arm there, it shouldn't move. It's just going to stay right where it is when I move the controller. So here's the controller here. Um, I don't have the the uh, alignment set up, but here's the controller. Now when I press this button, the arm shouldn't move. See how the arm is not moving? You see that? How it's not do moving at all? That's because of, for me at least, the, the rotor, the, the little, let me see if I can zoom in for you guys to be able to see what's going on here. 
So watch that small hole and watch that white cog right there. There's a white plastic cog. This here is a white plastic cog where my screw is, uh, or my screwdriver is at. This is a white plastic cog. Now it spins. I'm gonna go ahead and bring up the controller here, okay? You can see how it spins, but it's not moving the arm. You see how that spins? Okay, so we're, the, the cog is spinning, but uh, let me just zoom out again real quick. So here's the controller. So you can see that the arm is not moving at all. It's completely dead. Now, what I'm going to do is, is I'm going to put the controller back in the tray here. And what I'm going to do is, is I'm going to tighten that screw over here. So let me zoom in real quick so you guys can see what screw I'm talking about. I actually have to tilt the camera a little bit so you guys can see that screw. Sorry for the noise. All right, so let's see if I can get over here. Okay, so hopefully now you see that screw. It's now right there. Now, when I pick up the controller, let me zoom out for you to see real quick. See that screw right there? That screw right there, there's a little there's a little Allen screw inside of there that needs to be tightened up so that it doesn't move. I'm gonna tighten that down before the end, um, after I end this video so it doesn't move. This is my problem. This, so if your arm is not moving, this could be an issue, this could be your problem too. Um, I was outside on September 25th, 2016, uh, and my, my go-to wouldn't do nothing. It, the arm would not move around or nothing. It'll move up and down, but it won't move around. It won't spin around. The, the actual motor itself, if you notice here, I'm going to take the um, zoom out real quick. If you notice here, the, the mount won't move at all. You notice how stiff it is? See how it won't move at all? That's how it's supposed to be stiff. It's supposed to be stiff like this, so it doesn't move. Now, I'll show you what happens here. Let me let me let me demonstrate real quick. Uh, let me zoom in real quick. I'm gonna zoom in real one more time for you guys. I'm gonna loosen that screw right there. See that little hole? I'm gonna loosen that, and you'll watch how how it'll spin freely. Okay. So I move that screw just a little bit. Let me zoom out real quick. Now, if you watch me. Put my hand on this arm you'll watch it, it'll spin around freely see how it spins around freely this is not correct it's because the arm needs to be stiff see how that spins around it spins around so that's not good so i'm going to go ahead and zoom in real quick for you to see that screw again whoops got a little bit of blur there so i'm going to go ahead and tighten this screw down over here All right, so I got that screw tightened down. Now I'm gonna go ahead and zoom out. My legs are killing me here, so I'm gonna go ahead and move the arm here. Let me get the controller. Let me get the controller here, and I'll move the arrow key. And you'll see the arm will spin now. See how it rotates now? Let me just go ahead and see how the arm is rotating. Before it wasn't moving at all, but now you can see it moves. So this was my fix for the Star Seeker 4 go team mount when the arm doesn't move at all. So works now. I need to tighten that screw down. But other than that, I fixed it. I thought I was gonna have to go out and spend a new spend money on to buy a new a a new um, motor or a new arm. But uh, it fixed it apparently. So I'm gonna go ahead and take my screwdriver and get me a little Allen wrench key that'll fit that little screw. And we're gonna go ahead and tighten him down so he doesn't move at all. So I'm going to go over here and see if I can get my tool kit real quick. And uh, I'm going to see if I can pick out the right uh, Allen key. Hopefully I have one for this uh, set that I have here. Alright. Alright guys, so this here is my, my little uh, tool kit. This is the only thing I use. Um, not 100% sure if I have the, the right, it might be a 1.3 or 1.5 um, Allen key is what it could be. I'm going to go with a 1.5 Allen key real quick. Um, we'll see if that works or not. I'll put my toolkit down. So this here is a... Uh, I don't know if you guys can read that or not. Probably not. 
waste of time trying to show you that. Uh, I'm gonna go ahead and try to get this zoomed in for you to see what I'm doing here. If I can get some view on that hole right there, right there, that little hole, there's a little nut in there, or some type of screw. Let's see if we can get up in there. Yeah. Um, I, I think I got that screw tightened down now, so it's not going to come out. I'm going to go ahead and check one more time with this uh, Allen wrench key. This old Allen key gets a little stuck, so might be a bigger size. I think it is a 5, a 1.5. A 1.5 Allen key, uh, which is what it is. I think we got it nice and tight now. In that hole, there's a little. Uh, I'll see if I can get. I'll see if I can get my flashlight shining in that hole for you guys. See if I can shine this uh, flashlight in that hole for you guys to be able to see what I'm talking about. Maybe you'll be able to see that little screw right there. I don't think you guys can see that little screw, but there's a little little hex screw inside of there. I don't know how well, how far in we can zoom. Anyways, right in there is a hex screw, and uh, I need like a 1.5 hex in there. Somehow that screw got loose on me and uh, caused me a little hassle. I had to take the, the head off, and uh, I think I got it fixed now. So to be able to turn, you can see there it spins. Hopefully you guys can see that. Hopefully this doesn't happen again. I don't know if it's a design flaw or what, but uh, it might have been something I did where I might have forced it to turn because if you look, I'm trying to turn this. You can't see really see what I'm doing here before I end this video. You can see here, I really can't, I really can't turn it without using a lot of force. I mean, I'm trying to push it. I don't want to push it too too hard, but. You can see what I mean there. Anyways, that's pretty much it. Want to do a quick video on it, and I think we got a fix now.